I was under a lot of stress and I was wondering if God really kept all his promises like he said he was going to. I didn't even know who Jesus was. I didn't know what Christianity was. I didn't even really know what religion was. I knew that there was like, you know, Greek things and all that stuff. I, I knew about that because like Zeus, I thought it was cool because he had thunder powers and everything. Before Jesus had my life fully, I was insecure and I lived a, a fake life. I was kind of careless with my life and with my morals. I didn't think about my actions. I didn't think about how they affected people. I was in a, a a spiritual darkness. I was Christian outwardly, and my acts and uh, around other people, they were Christian. But um, when I was by myself, I'd probably break all those rules. Sometimes when like life sometimes like hits you hard, or like it just seems like things are just so unfair, it's sad things that happen to you, they just kind of like tug you away. I started like putting myself down and comparing myself to other people. I wasn't really being kind to my friends or anything. I was trying to fit in, and instead of loving the Lord. A couple of months ago, my aunt passed away, and it was really sudden, and that was really hard on me because I had never lost a family member before. When it finally hit me, and I did not feel like he was there. When my close family members had gotten into drugs, I used to blame myself for it, thinking that they didn't love me, and that's why they had made those decisions. And so in that moment, I didn't feel very close to God. My pastor invited up uh, whoever wants to believe in Christ and give their life to him and I wanted and I felt like I needed to. Through the process of years of coming to, to see the Lord um, in what he has shown me now today, uh, I have come to, to know him and to love him and to have him be the center of my life. He did die for our sins and he did go through all that suffering. Sometimes it's hard to believe and we just make it up as a story, but it really did happen and he did go through all that pain. I know that he's always gonna be there for me. Now that like, I have him closer, I realize looking back that he really was there and he really was helping me. God helped me realize that he does keep his promises, and he promises good things for us. He loves us like no matter what we do, no matter the circumstances. He's just always there for us. During spiritual emphasis, he taught me to just keep my eyes on him and not like focus on other things around me. Spiritual emphasis help a lot, and like that. That was a school activity, which I was really happy. The chapels were amazing, and also that one of the first things that teachers do, like they would pray over you. We have chapel every day, we have Bible class, we have friends around me that are just always supporting me, and they all love God, which I think is really cool. It's been absolutely like incredible to just have the opportunity where when I'm reading the Bible on my own and I have a question to have people to go to and to ask questions. It's helped me having friends who also love Jesus and are Christians. Coming to CCS made me think more and question more about what I'm doing with my life and I feel like that made me wiser and open up to God more because I put him into my life so that I could have his morals. I'm excited to build a better relationship with God, an intimate relationship with him. God's willing to give us all of his wisdom and he's got an infinite amount. Whenever I pray to God or think of God, I'm in the presence of literally the God of the universe, so there's nothing to be afraid of. He is with me. His name is Emmanuel, which means God with us, which people don't always think of that as a comforting thing, but it is because it means that God is on our side. He's always there to comfort you, and he's the main source of joy. He's going to love me no matter what I've done, and he'll love everybody no matter what they've done, and he's forgiving and he will let you change your life in a second, in a day, in an instant, just like that. He's like my best friend, like that I can lean on at any time. Like a friend who isn't fake, it's someone that's actually there. I love him and he's amazing. He's like my best friend. He's just a good father to me. I can be like who I am with him. These kids, I look at them and I see a light, I see a passion. Some of them are seeking Christ and are going to be the people who are leading the church. I want to show others the way he moved in me so they can see that he's real and he's there and he can change your life just as much as he's changed mine.